Knight Global's new electrified rail systems are a complete power supply suspension system that can be used in combination with the Knight servo hoist or other electrical devices. The system can be configured in both 240 and 480 volt single or three phase applications. Power travels through the red conductor rail or E-rail mounted atop Knight's rail. This fully enclosed electrical system is ergonomically friendly and eliminates stack up of runway festooning. Adjustable E-rail hangers are then bolted to the night rail. They should be tightened until the lock washer is flat and not over tightened. The conductor rail or E-rail is then inserted through the space in the hangers and mounted on top of night's rail. Four copper continuous strips are then fed through the E-rail as shown here. For longer lengths, an installation trolley is preferred rather than feeding the strips by hand. The end feed cap is then installed onto the end of the E-rail. End feed conductor fasteners are installed onto the ends of the copper strips. Tighten the two screws on either side of the power end feed. Install the end feed cover and tighten the four screws. Then place the collector trolley into the holder on Knight's servo trolley. Compress by hand the collector brushes and insert the collector trolley into the E-rail. Note that the collector trolley can only be inserted one way. The tab seen here must be on the side opposite the green stripe of the E-rail. Slide the assembly completely into the rail with the servo trolley. The cord clamp is necessary to protect the E-Rail's electrical cable from damage as it travels with the trolley through the rail. Adjust and secure the clamp tightly so that it is in line with where the servo trolley makes contact with Knight's rail. Finally, the E-Rail's end cap can be installed onto the end of the E-Rail opposite the side of the power end feed. Tighten both screws. For more information on Knight's electrified rail systems, visit our website or contact a Knight Global representative.